up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is uh, PGTO Tournament Series round number uh, six. I think I think there's two more rounds left. Yeah, I think we're three and two right now. We have to win the next two, which means we're three and two. So this is round number six. And uh, like I said, we have to win this round and the next round to make cut. And we won the claim, which is fantastic. So yes. We'll go first, and uh, let's see what are we playing against. Looks like it's some kind of psychic deck, and oh my goodness, we start with Shame Maniacs, which is terrible. Terrible, got to start with. All right, so press done. Oh goodness, start Shame Maniacs. Let's see what our opponent is playing. I mean, the psychic in colors, which makes me think it's making me too. And there's a wall of it. All right, so let's train your smell. Look at top cards of our deck. We'll grab an N. Okay, we will. Ultra Ball, discard a Vileplume and a Decidueye. We'll grab a Lugia. Okay. The Taurus is prized. We have a three. So we have one Rallet prized. All right. Uh, both Revitalizers are there. Four. Okay. All right. All right. All right. One Flow Zone. So grab a Lugia. We'll put a Lugia down. Put a DC on Lugia and play an N. Give us both new hands of sex. Okay. Wab of it. All right, so put down Oddish and just pass. Um, Oddish. Yeah, we're just going to pass until our opponent's turn, okay? Uh, next turn, we can Deep Hurricane and knock out the Wob Fed. The only problem is if our opponent gets a Mewtwo out, they could then knock us out pretty easily, which is very scary. Okay, so there we see a Trainer's Mill. Look at the top cards of his deck. He will not be able to use Shaman, but he can use Hoop at this turn. There's a Trainer's Mill for Sycamore. We've got to hope he just Sycamores and doesn't hit any Pokemon. All right, so another trainer's mill. Just don't hit an ultra ball. All right, not going to find anything. And there's an Eevee. So it looks like an Espeon deck. Okay, now I'm not too concerned about Espeon. I'm more scared about Mewtwo. He might just put it on the AV so he doesn't get knocked out. There's a DC on Eevee, which is great for us. There's a Shrine of Members coming down, which makes me think he's 100% playing Mewtwo now. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. All right, so Sycamore, just cutting a psychic and a Garboder, okay? Does he find a Mewtwo? That is the billion dollar question. Does he have it? There's a Trubbish. I don't care about Trubbish. Do not care about Trubbish. Yeah, kind of care about Garboder, but not really. And there's Mewtwo. Oh, boy. Okay, all right. So Mewtwo will come down, okay? There's a flowstone to the Trubbish. Hmm. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay. All right. So pass on to Archer. All right. So we get a Sycamore. So I'm going to DC the Lugia. I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard a Decidueye and a Shaman to grab an Oddish. I mean, not Oddish, a Gloom. Sorry. We'll put down the Gloom and Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. We need to find a flowstone. Uh, plus a vile plume and <gasps> no, we'll grab a rallet. We'll love ball for another rallet, and we'll have to pass this turn. We miss the float stone. If we had the float stone, we could treat take a knockout, which would be great right now. So we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. Okay, that's not good. All right, so uh, huh. I mean, we, only, we had the one float stone prize, so it's, it's whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. We got this. All right. So, does he already discarded Garboder? He okay. There's Super Rod against Garboder back into his hand. Okay. I right, back into his deck. So Garboder's like going in there. Okay. Hmm. All right. So Ultra Ball. I'm gonna start two cards from his hand. Does he have? Okay. So he discards the end, which means he has a second more in hand. This is the most like grab a Garboder. Hundred percent grab a Garboder. There's the Garboder coming down. Okay. So, we'll see the Garboder come online. Alrighty. And does he have an in or Sycamore? So, there's a VS Seeker. And probably grabbing Sycamore. Just, I mean, why would you grab an in here? Um, it didn't look like Beedrill's in our deck either, which is something we really need against this matchup. So, Sycamore, discarding his hand, draw 70 cards. Okay. Yeah, we really need Beedrill. Man, that's a really good card to have that we don't have anymore. Alright, so Spear like only Mewtwo. Okay. There's a Psychic Energy to Mewtwo. And do we see a pass, maybe? Hmm. Um, 
Try, okay, it's a pass on Archer, so no Mega right now. There's an Ultra Ball, okay. How many Grass are you have? So no Grass. Okay, so I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball and a N. And with this, I'm going to grab a uh, Dark Tricks. Okay. Uh, one, I mean, that one flow stone is making me so nervous, but I'm gonna put a Dartrex down, I'm gonna put a DC on the Dartrex, and I'm just gonna stick a more discard or hand draw seven new cards. Uh, do we find the flow stone? And we find the flow stone plus a, okay, so put out a flow stone. We will love all for another Dartrex, okay. The only thing I'm scared about is Mewtwo can easily knock us out, so put down Dartrex. We will retreat. And go for a deep hurricane for the knockout. We need B Drill out here. If we can find a B Drill, then get a Valpum on next turn at the same time, like uh, B Drill plus Valpum and a Lysander. Oh, there's Rallet. Okay, that's not what we really needed. Uh, we'll see uh, Garboder coming up, but we can knock out the Garboder next turn if we find a Decidueye. Uh, no, we can't. What am I talking about? He has 100 HP. Come on, Josh. I mean, we get a Lysander plus four to drive plants for a knockout. Uh, but 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. If he finds an energy with the Mewtwo, he can take a knockout, which is not good for us. So there's Sycamore discarding his hand, draws 70 cards, discards a bunch of stuff. Does he find a Mega Mewtwo plus an energy? Alright. Let's see. Did he whiff it? Oh, no, there's no, okay, I mean, it's still not over yet. I mean, does he have energy? I mean, he took him second Ultra Ball here. I mean, you just Ultra Ball, grab Pokemon, you take a knockout with Deep Paracan, I mean, with uh, Psychic Infinity, so discard the Flustone and a Mewtwo, okay. Man, Beedrill, why'd you have to be pressed? Alright, so there's an Espeon GX coming down. Oh, that's actually a knockout as well, that's 180. Alright, so, um, okay, so Psychic like Energy, we'll see a Psychic for the Knockout, actually. Uh, yep, we'll see Espeon coming up, okay. And we'll see Psychic for the Knockout, alright, 180 damage, uh, goes down to 4 prize cards. Okay, we're gonna set up Shaman, and I'm gonna do something kind of weird here. Oh no, our turn? There's a DCE. Okay, so I'm gonna play Trainer's Mode. With the Trainer's Mode, we need a Revitalizer, and we don't find one, that's great. Alright. So, we'll put down a Rallet. We'll put a Grass Energy on the Dartrex and play it in to put it down to four cards, okay? Alright, so we find a Decidueye, a DCE, but no Lysander. What I need next turn is a Lysander to bring in the Garbo to take a knockout. Alright, so we're going to treat into the Dartrex. And go for Sharp Blade Quill on the Garboder, okay? And next turn, what we could do is, uh, if we hit a Lysin, we could knock it out next turn. Um. Oh, okay. I wonder if he has, like, all of his Mewtwo prized or something crazy. Hmm. Uh, but right now, Psychic will take a knock. I'll do 90 damage and knock this out. Um. Outside of that, we really don't have a play. Like, we can Sky Return with Shaman. There's a DC going to the Mewtwo, okay? Hmm. Alrighty. Um, but, I mean, I'm hoping we have a license. There's a VS Seeker. Does he grab a Sycamore and in here? Let's see. What does he decide? I mean, I just... Oh, Beedrill's prize. That's what's really bugging me right now. Oh, man. It's not so much Wobbuffet. I mean, I guess Wobbuffet was so much of pain, but... Man, there's an N. Okay, I'm... Yes, play this N. And, uh... We need to find a Lysander plus a Grass Energy. We're playing two Grass Energy, though, which is the only downside right now. We might not... Uh, Alright, there's a Grass Energy. Oh, no Lysander. Okay, alright. So, uh... We'll see if Flowstone do the Espeon to get a free treat if needed. And he could go with Divide GX to put 10 damage counters or Gloom. If let's go that way. Um... I don't know. We'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, either way, he can Psychic for the knockout. Yeah, he's going to Psychic for the knockout going out of three. Okay. I'm going to set up Shaman and just hope we tell like a Lysander. That's 100% what I'm hoping right now. So, on our turn. All right, so put down the Dartrex. We will put down the Rallet. We will DC the active. Put down Vileplume. And Sky turn for 30, sitting in the Rallet. Going down to... Ugh. 
Oh boy, he's gonna do two prize cards, okay? So my opponents are gonna draw a card. Okay. There's a Mega Mewtwo coming down, which is very scary because that guy, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, there's a Mega Turbo. And I'm pretty sure there's no way we're now 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I mean, if we attach a 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, he could do 220. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Oh boy. Alright, so this is a VS Seeker. Does he grab a uh, Sycamore? Yeah, gonna grab a Sycamore, discard his hand, draw 70 cards, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so no, gonna go divide here and uh, gonna put 10 on this Dartrex. Okay, take a knock on the Dartrex. Alright, that's not good. Alright, so he's gonna take a knockout. He's gonna get a Sycamore in play. Uh, he'd be a Sycamore for Sycamore just in case we do license the Garbodor, but if he finds an energy, he can knock out the Decidui next turn. Alright, so there's uh, seven on the Dartrex, another on the Dartrex, and now what he should do is put the, inter the damage on the Decidueye, there's really no way we can win. Um, yep, there's the rest of the damage on the Decidueye, now there's, if he finds a Lice and he can bring up the Decidueye, take a knock on it. Uh, that's 220 HP, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, plus 10 is 220. So on our turn, we find a Trainer's Mail, so we'll play the Trainer's Mail, we're gonna have a second more, okay. We're still gonna try though. We're gonna try somewhere. I don't know what we can really do. Um, well, let's think about this. So we'll float still the active, put down Shaman, put a DC on it, put down a Force of Giant Plants, and we'll Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards, okay. Lysander, Shaman, Revitalizer. So we can Revitalize her for one and two. Okay. We'll put down Dartrex, put down Decidueye. We will retreat into the Shaman. And Sky Turn. I mean, who do we send up here? Um I don't know. I do not know. Um Let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12. 160 plus 60. Alright, so. My plan right now is a sky return for 30. Okay. I'm going to send in the Vile Plume and just pass. Okay. Um, because we might try to license this Garboder and take a knock on it when he knocks out our Vile Plume. That might be my only play, really. I mean, it's, it's not a good play, but it's something. <laughs> Just still wishing we had, um, man, if we had Beedrill, we can license the Garboder and just, like, Beedrill and just, like, pop the Flipstone off and be good to go. All right, he's down four via Seekers as well, so that's a good thing to point out. Okay, so there's a Lysander. I'm gonna bring up the Decidueye with a DC on it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. He's only doing 190, so Psychic, which doesn't knock us out. Under to 20. All right, so on our turn. Find a Force of Giant Plants. Okay. I'll put a DC on the Decidueye, retreat the Decidueye into the Vile Plume, and just pass. All right, because he's already uh, he's not all four via all four via Seeker, so he m maybe might be in trouble. Um, not really question mark because as Mewtwo finds an energy, he just takes a knockout and wins regardless. Um, yeah. So the Parallel City go down. We, we have Force in hand. Don't care about that too much. Hmm. All right, so Sycamore discarding his hand. I mean, if he finds an energy, he kind of just wins here because, I mean, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23, 23, it's like a billion damage, which would knock us out. I mean, I don't think there's a way we can win, so Trainer's Mail. I mean, how many DCs? He's played th two DCs so far. Okay. Um. There's an N going in his hand. Okay, and I don't care too much about the N. I mean, can we survive long enough where he can't take enough price cards, maybe? Probably not. That seems like unrealistically. That's like, uh, that doesn't, I don't think it can happen. I mean, we have to survive like 20 plus turns of him trying, of us trying to duck him out. Um, but, I mean, we have five cards left. So here goes Mewtwo, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. It does 130, which does knock us out, but does he have an energy? 
If he has an energy, he wins. All right, so there's an old ball. Discard two cards from his hand. Discard the Mega Turbo and an in. In. Okay. Well, he doesn't have any psychic energy discard pile, so I guess that's a. All right, yeah, that's true. So there's a Mewtwo coming out. Oh, is he gonna put that Mewtwo down? I mean, he, either way, like we have less cards than he does, so it's not gonna really fa factor in. Uh, so psychic energy for the knockout. All right, he's going out of one prize card. I mean, this would be, like, the most craziest comeback ever. But we do have a Lysander, like, play for sure. So we get a Force. We open down a Force. We will Revitalizer. Get back an Oddish and Vileplume. We'll put down the Oddish. Gloom. I mean, even then, we're still going to be in real trouble. We'll put down the Vileplume. We'll put a Grass Energy in this guy. We'll license up the Garboder. We'll take a knockout, but then, like, if he has an energy, he just wins. Uh, so we'll raise lead for the knockout. And then even, like, then what do we do, really? So we'll go down to four price cards. We find a Beedrill. Hey, thanks for showing up to the party, Beedrill. You're fantastic. And uh, does he have energy? If he does, Mega Mewtwo will take a knockout, and we'll go to game number two, which is very unfortunate. Now, oh, there's energy. So, yep, that'll be enough for the knockout. And um, we'll go to game number two. Spike Infinity. Boom, KO. Yep. All right. So we, we tried, we tried, we tried. Uh, man, that game number one was not very good for us, but we'll try again. I mean, uh, Wobbuffet is what kills us uh, for sure. Like, it's not even, no, no. What really killed us was not having that B drill in a hand. Uh, him starting Wobbuffet did affect us, but us starting Shaman was like a lot worse for sure. So we'll see what happens in game number two. I mean, I have beaten this deck before with Wap Vet. It's, it's not impossible. So, hence, uh, we lost Queen Foot, but we're going first. I mean, it's best two out of three. We can decide if we're going to go first or not. Um, sent him a message on Facebook. I don't know if he, he doesn't seem like he got it yet. Um,. Like I said before, guys, my chat does not work on uh, BGCGO. does not work. It's turned off, so. I don't know if he's talking to me on here. Um, let me message him. All right, so he, he saw the message. All right, so. <clears throat> here we go, guys. Uh, okay, my opponent has no base Pokemon. We'll start Oddish. We'll press Done. And, um... I think he only plays the one Wobbuffet, though. I mean, he he has to have room for the SP on plus Garbodor, so I don't think he has, like, more than one Wob. Oh, we get two Mulligans, baby. Let's do it. Come on. Give me some good stuff, Pokemon. All right, so they're going to choose an active Pokemon. We got Oddish. We got a Flowstone. We got an In, uh, which is pretty good to have turn one when we don't want to discard some stuff. So, yes and yes. All right, so DC and Shame will press done. There's a Mewtwo, so we'll uh, Flowstone, Level Ball, a Rallet. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So grab Rallet. We will put down the Rallet. DCE. Force of Giant Plant. Shaman set up for two. All right. And hopefully find an Ultra Ball. And okay. So put down Dark Trucks. We will Trainer's Mill. Show me an Ultra Ball, baby. And we find an Ultra Ball. All right. So grab an Ultra Ball. We will Ultra Ball, <coughs> discard a, I'm going to discard a Vitalizer in the end. I'm going to discard a Sycamore, actually, so that way we can save our resources if needed. We'll grab a Decidueye, okay. We'll put down Decidueye, and we will Shaman for five new cards. Alrighty, so let's see, what do we find with the Shaman? Come on, Gloom and Vile Bloom. All right, so there's a Gloom, we'll put down the Gloom. We'll play Trainer's Mill, looking for an an Ultra Ball, and I will get out of Vileplume in this case. We'll grab a Floatstone just to... Th no, actually, I'm yeah, I'm going to grab a Floatstone. We need to save our Forest of Giant Plants. So put down Flo uh, Floatstone. We'll end. We'll both get six new cards. Can we find a Vileplume? And we do not, actually. Okay, but we can level ball for another Decidueye, so we can get a, a Rallet. We will... Rallet, Dartrex, uh, Decidueye, Level Ball, Defender, Duck out again. 
Um, we'll grab a, a Rallet. Just to put in our hand. We did miss the Vileplume, unfortunately. Yep. Alright, so grab Rallet. We will retreat into the Decidueye GX. We'll use double Feather Arrow this turn, so Feather number one. And Feather Arrow number two. And we'll pass onto our opponent's turn. Now, the only unfortunate thing is my opponent can get down to trouble with the Floatstone. Oh my goodness. Did we make a mistake of not grabbing Decidueye? I mean, Vileplume? I don't think so. Alright, so Mewtwo will come down. Okay. And next turn we can knock out this Mewtwo from a Grass Energy, so Trainer's Mill, I mean, but we are down two Supporter Cards, two Trainer's Mill, there's a Spirit Link, uh, going to definitely put it on the bench Mewtwo, there's no real reason to put it on the active, uh, so I'm going to put it on the bench, yep, there's another, okay, Spirit Link on the active, that's fine, a Trubbish, okay, does he pass? Alright, so Psyche needs to bench Mewtwo, which I think is fine. And a pa Okay, come on, baby. No! Oh, no! Alright, so we're gonna double Feather of the Bench Trubbish, so... Oh, no! So we'll Feather of that guy, Feather of that guy, and... We'll have to pass. Alright, but we can knock out the Trubbish next turn. Oh, boy, that's not good. But we can double Feather and knock out the Trubbish. All right, so yes, all right, so on our turn, we will, uh, let's train as well first. Grab a Sycamore, okay. I'm gonna double Feather of the Bench Trubbish, like that's enemy number one. All right, so we'll Feather number one. We'll Feather number two. Okay, now take a knockout, go down to five price cards. We find a Force of Giant Plants. I'm going to put down Beedrill and Sycamore, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Okay. So Vileplume and no, oh my goodness. All right, so put down Vileplume and we'll pass. Wow. All right, so under our opponent's turn, we have Vileplume play, but no. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. So uh, there's a Mega Mewtwo. I mean, I was trying to prevent that, obviously, but that did not work. Alright, but the good thing is we can just keep Double Feather the Bench guy, so we will Feather Arrow number one. Feather Arrow number two. And I think I'm just going to Sycamore, just discard our hand, draw all seven cards, trying to find a Grass Energy. And... Huh. Alright, so we'll put a DC on Shaman, and I'm going to Treat. And Sky Return for 30. Goodness. Alright, so send of the Decidueye. Okay. On to our opponent's turn. This is pretty crazy. Alright, so on our turn, uh, we will double Feather of the Bench again. So, 20. And 40. We will DC the Shaman. Retreat into the Shaman. Sky return again for another 30. Okay. Alright, so send a Decidueye once again on to our opponent's turn. The thing we have to be scared of, if he puts the energy on this Mewtwo, he could go for a damage change later on. Um, Yeah, that's a scary thing for sure. Alright, so there's a D, Susan Mewtwo. Okay. Pass on our turn. So I'm going to double Feather of the Bench again. So one. And two. These up to 120. We'll put a Shaman down. DCE retreat. And Sky Return for another 30. Okay. Alright, so he has 90 HP left. So he has three turns with his Mewtwo, but like I said, what I'm scared of is the damage change. Alright, so pass on our turn. We will Feather Arrow twice again. I know it's an exciting game, guys. It's very exciting. Feather again. Okay. I am going to put down Shaman. DC. Retreat. Sky Return for another 30. Okay. We'll send in the Decidueye. Um, the next turn, I'm not going to Sky Return again because if we do, we'll take a knockout and then he can send the Mewtwo a damage change, which is what we do not want to happen. Alright, so pass on our turn. So what we're going to do is just Feather Arrow, number one. 
Feather on number two and just pass. I'm actually not going to Sky Return this turn because that's crazy. All right, so we'll put some damage on that guy. Uh, what we do is actually put a DC on this. This, I mean, oh, if we do that, he could then Bloat Stone. Uh, so I'm just going to pass. I was thinking about going for the double scrapper to get rebuffed tools. Uh, but then he can, like, hacks plus float, and I don't want him to do that. I really don't have an answer at all. So right now, next turn, all we can do is double feather arrow and sky return for the knockout. Shaman MVP. I can put it really, like, kind of drew pass. All right, so on our turn, we will... <laughs> There's four DCs in our hand right now. So we'll feather arrow number one. Going out of three. There's a grass. Hand oh, thank you, grass, for showing up. And we will just feather again on the active and take of the game. Woo! All right, so we got out of one prize card, two grass prize. Fantastic. All right, so press done. Own a gamer number three. It is possible. All right. All right, so own a game number three, guys. A point I'm kind of dead, Drew, but we'll take those. All right, so call the coin flip heads. Uh, we lost coin flip, which is great, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was to go first, but we want to make sure he... We're going to let him decide for sure. All right. On the game number three, guys, we have to win this. All right, so we start... A Lugia? Yeah, Lugia seems fine here. We'll put down Oddish. And... Time to party, guys. Can we do this or not? We'll put down Oddish. We'll press done. Let's see what happens, guys. If we win this, we advance. I mean, we don't advance. We have to win the next one as well. So there's a shameless start from my opponent. All right. I'm gonna close my eyes for a second. So there's an Ultra Ball. Does he grab Hoopa? Uh, Mewtwo, Trubbish. Does he have a Flow Stone in hand? Okay. Discard a Mega Mewtwo and a Mega Turbo. Okay. That's two really good cards. So his, his best rest of his hand must be like amazing if he's discarding those two. I'm just gonna put my head down for a second while I, I cry because I don't know what's happening. Turn one. Does he grab a Shaman to set up for two? Does he grab a Trubbish because he has a Flow Stone Sycamore in hand? Does he grab a Mewtwo because he has a Spirit Link? Mewtwo DCE? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know. He's looking through his... I mean, I'm hoping he prized his... I'm, he might only one Garbodor. Um, so there's a Wobbuffet. Okay. Wobbuffet's not good for us, guys. That's not who we want to see. So Trainer's Mill. Going to get top four guards of his deck. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um... Yeah, so there's a Flowstone for the Shaman to retreat into the Wobbuffet to shut down our abilities. Turn one. Great. That's what I love to see in turn one is a Wobbuffet. Yep. Yep. I'm hoping he doesn't have anything, but I mean, like, he discarded the Mega Mewtwo and a Mega Turbo. You gotta think his hand's really good. Right? 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 You gotta think his hand's almost... So Super Rod put the Mega Mewtwo back into his deck, okay? And show me Sycamore. Maybe not. Pass. Okay, there's an end. So we only have six new cards, which is fine, because our hand wasn't like, really good. All right. And let's see. We find a Trainer's Mill. Okay. Ooh, we, we got a turn one Vile Plume, which seems bad. Like I always say, don't go for turn one Vile Plume. But the thing is... Yeah, he's going to put Wobbuff in the Axe spot, so it's going to turn off our Vile Plume, so we'll have access to our abilities. Huh. Oh boy, what do we do here? <laughs> All right, so the Ultra Ball, discarding an Ultra Ball and a Psychic Energy, okay, we'll just grab a Trubbish. Mew I mean, I think it has to grab Mewtwo here. You, I think you have to go Mewtwo this time. Um, For sure, I think you have to go Mewtwo. But we'll see. So there's an, he's actually going for Eevee here, which is fine with me. All right, so Eevee coming down, okay. Put a DC on the Eevee. There you go. Retreat to Wobbuffet, okay. Pass. All right, so on our turn, what we're going to do, Trainer's Mill. Grab an Ultra Ball. I mean, Ultra Ball doesn't do us any good, really. We're going to put a DC in the active, put down Force of Giant Plants. Put down Gloom. Man, I really want to put down Vile Plume. Um. Mm. I see your Ultra Ball. All right, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball discard a Grass and a Decidueye for a Shaman. Okay. 
Alright. We're going to put down Vileplume and just Air Ball for uh, 40. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're Air Ball for 40. Okay. So under our opponent's turn, let's see what he does here. He knows he has Shaman here. He knows our one card Shaman, which might be kind of dumb for me to do. Uh, Espeon coming down. Okay. There's a DC the Espeon. There's a Sycamore discarding his hand. Okay, so maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should grab a Rallet, maybe. Maybe a Tauros would have been pretty good. Uh, Trainer's Mill? Okay. Hopefully, we if we type like a Lyson here, that would be amazing. If we get Lyson of the Espeon, then Shaman, and then, like, Air Ball for a ton of damage, that would be really cool to see. Okay. So there's a Hoopa. Gonna use Scaling Ring Search for three EX Pokemon. Um, the Hoopa could be a downfall. Um, because that is a license target. It does have a two retreat call, so you can put a DC on it. But he, he, he's going to have to watch out. He does play Perilous City, so he can bump his field down. There's a Mewtwo, a Mega Mewtwo going to his hand. Okay. I'm just hoping we top deck a Lysander, because that would be amazing. Alright, so Mewtwo coming down. Okay. Blood Stone to the Hoopa. Okay. Pass on Give me a Lysander, baby. Vitalizer. Okay, so we'll Arrow Ball again for another 40. Okay. On to our opponent's turn. He's going to have one more turn of item cards, and then we'll be able to knock out this Wob Fett. And the party will begin. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, luckily, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Uh, Espeon is not taking a knock lockout. There's a license. Bring up a Vile Plume. Okay. Which actually, like, sounds bad, but it's fine, I think. Um, because he just wasted a supporter card. There's a Psyche and you're going to Espeon. Okay. Uh, Mega Mewtwo Evolve. Alright, so on our turn, we get a DSE. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to pass right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to pass until our opponent's turn, okay? Uh, he has two floats in the field already. Three Ultra Balls, okay. There is a Mega Turbo to the Mega Mewtwo, okay. We're going to have a game here, guys. For sure. But what does our opponent do? So there's an end. Alright, so both get six new cards. Alright, so we really don't find too much. We got a flow stone for Vol for Volpum, that's great. We can retreat, take a knockout, get rid of the Wob Vet, and turning on our item locking, which is great. Uh but what we really need is to like license plus uh B drill to get both these flow stones off these guys. Uh, he's only played one DC so far. We gotta watch out for that. So it's just like he's a Mewtwo, okay? So 3, 6, 9, 12. There's an Ultra Ball. Gonna discard two cards from his hand. Does he grab a Trubbish here? Now, Trubbish doesn't seem that very great right now because he has two Floodstones on the field. Alright, so discards a Spear like and a Mewtwo, okay? Let's see what he gets here. There's a Trubbish, okay? All right, so pass on to our turn. So we get a second more. So I'm going to Rallet, Trainer's Mill. We'll grab a Love Ball. All right, so this is actually really good because we can grab a Love Ball. We can Love Ball for a Decidueye. I mean, Dartrex, sorry. Uh, we'll put down the Dartrex. We will Float Stone the Active, play Revitalizer to grab a Decidueye. We'll put a Decidueye down, and we will Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. All right, so let's see. What do we find here? We find a Decidueye, Tauros. Uh, we get a Love Ball for a Rallet. We can put down Rallet, Decidueye, or Dartrex, Decidueye. We can put a Grass Energy on the Decidueye GX. Retreat. Put down Tauros. And arrow ball. Alright, so take a knock. I'm going to five prize cards. 
We get a floatstone, okay? We're just a turn too late. Um, but what does he do? He he has a trubbishing. He can send up a espion to go for a psychic, which doesn't knock us out. Here comes Hoopa, okay? All right, so game time, guys. It is game time for sure. There's a shrine of memories coming out. We don't care too much about shrine of memories. There's a sycamore discarding his hand, draw seventy cards. Discard trubbish and a garboder, okay? Um, let's see here. What does he get? So three six nine twelve fifteen. If he finds a DC, he will take a knockout, unfortunately. But does he find a DC? That's the only way he can really take a knockout right now. Hmm. All right, and another situation, another problem is we don't have a supporter card. So here comes Espeon, okay. Do we see a Divide, maybe? Or do we see a Psybeam? Uh, Psybeam could do third and confuse us. Yeah, he's going to go for Psybeam for 30, which I think is a great play, actually. So on our turn, what do we find? We find a Rallet. Uh, we'll put down a Rallet. So let's see, Psyche with a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, low 12. All right, so Psyche does not knock us out immediately. So, I am going to uh, Feather on number one. On the, I think I'm going to go on the Shaman, but he has Parallel Sea, which is the only thing I'm scared about, really. Hmm. Alright, hold on. So, what, I, okay, hold on. So, I'm going to damage, okay, so I'm going to put damage on the Shaman. Damage on the Shaman. Okay. I'm going to retreat into the Decidueye GX, put a Grass Energy on the Bench Decidueye, and go for a Hollow Hunt. Hmm. Good. Feather of this guy. And now, we'll get Sharp Blade Quills this guy. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then side beam again, which is only confusing. That's the only bad thing. So uh, yeah, I think I'll have to go for a hollow hunt. Uh, I really don't want to grab a hollow hunt. I want to save the. I want to save it for the Tauros, actually. Do we go for sharp blade quills or not? Um, no, I think okay. So we'll do. Yeah, I think I am going to do sharp blade quills. Put twenty on the shaman. All right, because next time we get double decidueye and sharp blade quills to knock out the shaman ex, which is really cool. Unless he plays parallel city counter it. Okay, so there's a psychic under the bench. Okay. Hmm. Like I said, I really don't want to waste my GX on Hollow Hunt. So there's a divide. Go put 10 damage counters on the field. And where does he put this 10 at? All right, so it looks like he's going to knock out a Rallet uh, to go down to 5, which is fine. Um, here, I think that's, yeah, I think that's fine. 3, 6, 9, 12. All right, so he's going to put some damage on the Rallet. Take a knockout, but then we can double Feather O and uh, Sharp Blade Quills go down to 3 price cards. All right, so there's 5. And then it'll be 6. So he has four, eight, 4 damage counters left. Okay. Looks like they'll put on the active. Okay. He's going to put on both, actually. All right. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. All right. So, he's going to spread them between the two. That's fine, I think. We got down to five. On our turn, we will feather arrow number one. Feather arrow number two. And we will Sharp Blade Quill to knock out the Shaman. All right, so we'll go down to three prize cards. So one and two. We get a Rallet and a N, okay. On to our opponent's turn. We get N him down to three, or right, down to five, and hope he gets bad cards. Um, my plan right now is to put damage on Hoopa. Um, yeah, because right now, Psychic's only doing 90. And he has to attack at least three times or waste an energy. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay. Arrow Ball does 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, what, 20, 30, okay. Or do we start putting damage on the Mega Mewtwo on the bench? Hmm. So he's going to retreat to Mewtwo. Okay, so he's going to Psyche Finny for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. All right, so there's a Lysander. Bring it to the Valve. I'm taking a knockout, okay? Um... Going down to four. I think this is fine. We are going to be able to revitalize the Vile Plumes, but he's going to go down to three. Okay. 
So instead of the Tauros, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. All right. So put down the Rallet, put a Float Stone on the Tauros, and we are going to end. And let's see what happens here with this end. Lysander and a Grass Energy, okay. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. All right. So I am going to double feather the active. So once and twice. Okay. Um, I'm going to retreat to Rallet and just pass. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what my opponent does here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, uh, 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. If he has the energy plus light, so he can knock out a Lugia, which is actually terrible. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm. I was really hoping to find, like, another Decidueye this turn. So, uh, Mega Turbo to the active. Okay. Does he have a Lysander? Does he have VS for Lysander? That's the question. If he does, we're in trouble because he can license Lugia to take our only real knockout. So there's a BS seeker. He has to grab license for Lugia here. There's no way you do not grab a license here. Yep. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Plus a 30 is 180. Lysander bring up the Lugia. And yep, that's the that's the yep, that's the play there. Okay, so he's going out of two price cards. We need a top deck it in. All right, so we need it in here. Uh, I hope he doesn't have another, another VS Seeker. He's only played the one VS Seeker so far. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so Trevor's coming down. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's a Psyching Infinity. So I'm going to send the Taurus, okay? And as the full stone says for your treat, that's fine. On to our turn, okay. So we find an N. Get the N. We get the N off the two. All right, but do we end on the two or do we lie to the Trubbish? Okay, that's the thing here. How many DCs has he played? None. He's played one Floodstone, two Lysander, okay? <sighs> 20, okay. All right, we got to think about this. Hmm. All right, so 20, 40. We can do 130 this turn, which doesn't knock him out. And then 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 22, 40. Okay, that's enough for knockout. So you can knock out the Sidewide this turn, okay? Um, We get in and hope we find a forest, because if we don't find a forest, he can just damage change and knock out a Rallus. So that doesn't matter. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. If he finds an energy, he can knock out a Tauros, which is pretty bad, okay? Or we can license of the Trubbish. And just pass. And like send up a rallet. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay. So. <laughs> what do we do here? Um, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to license with the Trubbish. Okay. It's probably like the worst decision we can make here. I'm going to put a float. I'm going to retreat to rallet. I'm going to put a grass energy on the rallet. Double feather of the bench. But the problem here is he can't damage change. Um, yeah. So press. I will tackle for 10. Sure. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Does he have a DCE? Boy, oh boy. He hasn't played a single DCE yet. Oh, he's played one DCE. So he has three left. So another float stone. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. So Spirit Link go to the Mewtwo, okay? Spirit Link on the Espeon. And you damage change. Like, there's no way you don't damage. Yeah, there's damage change for the knockout. Oh, no, there's no way we can win, guys. I'm pretty... Okay, so we're in to one. We're going to send a Taurus. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We're going to train your smell. Uh... We could lie to an Espeon, but that doesn't get it. So I'm going to end him to one, okay? So I'm going to end him to one. 
All right, so one, okay, all right. So we're gonna, where are DCs at? So we'll feather number one. We will feather number two. And pass him. We just gotta hope he doesn't have energy for like a billion turns. And a two hits double second mark. Are you kidding me? No. Oh my goodness. Well, that means we can't make cut anymore. So it's like infinity for the knockout. Cool beans. Thanks for playing, kids. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Can't make cut anymore. But we'll play the last round. My, I don't even think we do. We even attack with like decidue at all in any of these games. I don't think we did. All right, guys, but I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you have a great day. We'll see you around number seven. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.